Hello everybody. I'm making this recording here with my colleague Katie. Um, I'm Andrew and this will just give you a really basics of how to get into medium.com and how to get started. So here we are on medium.com. I guess it's just medium, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> but here we are at medium.com. I am going to click get started um, because I don't have an account yet. I'm going to click to sign up with Google, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, I have lots of Google accounts already, but I'm going to add another one. You can just use your Western account. My Western account is this, although it might throw me back depending on what format they want it in. All right. Yes, I, of course, agree to all of your terms and conditions. OK creating account. So you could do your name if you want there, or you can have a nickname. See, they'll want to know what kinds of things uh, you read so that they can advertise them to you. Uh, that is entirely up to you. I'm into space, privacy, and fiction. <laughs> anyway, here we are. We just got through to the new account. Um, I should put an avatar or something. It's kind of boring at the moment. One thing you will know is if you go through here, it will only let you read three of these articles, any article with a star by it. Those are paid articles, um, and the free account only gets you access to three of them. You'll be able to read all of the stuff we make for this class because it won't have a star. Um, so don't worry about that. You can read as many of your peers' pieces as you want to. Click up on your icon up here, and you're going to New Story. This is your, your palette, your canvas for creating your story. It's really, really open. Um, so I'm going to say uh, profile. Uh, no, not profile. Oh, let's call something really cool. Um, Literacy on the high seas, because it's, it's a pirate story, you see. Um, so the thing about Medium is that it's uh, kind of modular in the way that it works. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's do, let's go back. So this is just a random text generator um, that I will grab some random text from. And I will paste it here. OK, so we've got five paragraphs of just random Latin gibberish. Uh, for each of these in between paragraphs, it allows you to do new stuff. So things that you can do are um, add a picture, add video, um, embed things like tweets and, and other media. Play around with these. There's lots you can do. Um, I'm going to embed a picture, and I'm going to pick a picture. Here's a picture of me and a musical group I used to sing with at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Um, what you'll notice as you get a picture is at the bottom, it'll give you the option to type a caption. Uh, that caption will be visible with the piece. Um, it also gives the option to add alt text. So if you click on that, um, alt text is meant to be purely descriptive. It's not supposed to be funny in any way. It's, it's just supposed to be what's happening here. Uh, so group, I'll even put an article there, uh, group of singers in red kilts uh, taking a photo with a woman in blue. Real boring, but gets to the point of what's happening. Um, so once you do that, you won't see it. But if you listen to this piece using a screen reader, um, you'd find it. You can't put a picture within a block of text. Everything has to be its own separate chunk in this format. Now, one of the things that we're asking you to do is to create uh, or to add pull quotes. Um, these are uh, pieces of text that are separated out, made a bit bigger from the rest of the text, so they really stand out. Sometimes what you'll most frequently see in magazines and newspapers and, and digital versions of those um, is that 
a line that's in the greater article will be repeated in, in very big print so that people can easily see it because it's a cool line that you want to catch your attention. Uh, the way you would do that here, I'm going to say this small chunk is really interesting and I think people will pay attention to it. So I'm going to copy it and put it in its own thing by itself. Once you highlight it, you get a bunch of options. You could turn this into a link if you wanted. Um, you can capitalize it or small caps. Um, all of these things can be undone as you do them. Um, what we want are these quotation marks. One quote, click it once, you get a sort of italicized version. Click it twice, you get a pull quote. So now this will stand out by itself um, and really punctuate this moment from the article. Uh, this is what we mean when we're saying put pull quotes into this. Drag out two really important sentences, uh, maybe multi-sentence chunks, and, and place them like they're pictures, like really as a visual part of the text, uh, which you can do that way. And then if you don't want this anymore, you can just remove that aspect. Was there anything else we wanted to show them how to do? I think that's enough to get started. I think that's enough to get started. Um, when you're ready to publish, you can set it to publish at a certain time. Um, for instance, if you know you need to turn it in at a certain time and you want uh, and you want to be able to set it aside and come back to it, I've done that before and it can be really helpful um, to just have it publish when, like at the deadline. Um, so long as you get that link on Canvas, you'll be all right. Any other questions? Um, please bring them, bring them to your instructor, bring them to Katie or me, yeah. Yeah. Um, who are up in the English department too. And I hope you enjoy working with Medium. So thanks.